Hi, my name is Harrison Rain. I have attended St. John's for 10 years and will be attending Berkeley Prep in the fall. My declamation is titled Knowledge Versus Thinking. It was given by Neil deGrasse Tyson at the Western New England University Class of 2012 graduation ceremony. I chose this speech because I feel like it shows that hard work pays off more than being lazy. I just want to highlight a few things. I'm worried, really, about how much fuzzy thinking is going on in the world. Fuzzy thinking is people just not thinking straight. I try to think hard about what's behind it. I reflect on the time with my sister, who was four years younger. When she was entering high school, I was leaving high school. One time I said, Lynn, where do you want to go have lunch today? She said, well, what are my choices? It was odd because I didn't realize that until that moment, she was not yet capable of simply coming up with a fresh idea because she'd spent her whole life taking multiple choice tests. So when I ask a question, she wants choices in front of her to pick from. This would continue throughout life. I tested this with other people. People want choices. I realized that maybe it's just hard to think originally and come up with a fresh thought that the person who's offering the question hadn't thought up yet. I think somehow in our society, we are too focused on the answer, the right answer, because when it's the right answer, it's the right answer. When it's the wrong answer, it's not the right answer. Consider this following example. Imagine you're in a spelling bee and you have to spell the word cat. The first person comes up and spells it C-A-T, and that's right. The next person spells it K-A-T, that's wrong. The third person spells it X-Q-W. Do you realize that that is marked equally as wrong as the K-A-T? You could argue that K-A-T is a better spelling for cat than C-A-T. Dictionaries know this because that's how they spell it phonetically. So we've built a system for ourselves where there's an answer and everything else is not the answer, even when some answers are better than others. Our brains are absent of the wiring capable of simply coming up with a fresh thought or, or a thought not previously considered or a thought between the ideas already laid on the table. What we're not valuing is knowledge as a process rather than knowledge as an answer. In another example, imagine you're an employer and two candidates come up looking for a job and you're interviewing the two candidates and you say, for this part of the interview, I just want to ask you, what is the height of the spire on this building? Well, the first candidate comes in and says, I majored in architecture and I memorized all the heights of all the buildings on Capitol Hill. I know for a fact that the height of this building is 150 feet. Turns out he's right, and he came up with the answer in a matter of seconds. So that person leaves and the next, per the next candidate walks in. What is the height of the spire on this building? He says, well, I don't know, but I'll be right back. That person runs outside, measures the length of the spire's shadow on the ground, measures the length of his own shadow on the ground, ratios the two, comes up with an answer, and runs back inside. It's about 150 feet. Who are you going to hire? I'm going to hire the person who figured it out. Even though that person was not as precise, even though it may have took that person longer, that person knows how to use the mind in a way not previously engaged. You realize that when you know how to think, it empowers you far beyond those who only know what to think. Thank you.